Hi, I'm Melissa and I'm here with Sarah from Land Conservancy of McHenry County and today we're going to learn how to install a rain barrel on my house and how to start saving water. So Sarah, why is it important to save water in McHenry County? Um, well basically we need to save water because for one thing we can't make new water and all the water that we drink here in McHenry County comes from under the ground and uh, the county's population is going up. And so basically, if everybody does their little part to save a little bit of water, let it soak into the soil here on your property, then that's going to help. So that's something that you can do with a rain barrel. That's why I'm excited to get a rain barrel at my house. So yeah. how do we set one up? So uh, these are some of the materials that you need. Um, you need a rain barrel. You need a flexible elbow to come off of your downspout. You need a simple hacksaw and some cinder blocks. It's pretty easy. Great, let's get started. Okay, cool. Um, so first we are going to uh, level this area and get some cinder blocks. So let's do that. All right. All right, cool. So we leveled our base, which is really important. Uh, we put our cinder blocks in place to uh, set the rain barrel on top of. And now we're just gonna uh, measure to see where exactly we need to cut this down to So, we're gonna take it. All right, so we're gonna cut it just below the flexible elbow. So maybe like on this bar or so. And then we're gonna take this and we're just gonna begin cutting. What do we do with this part? So that part of your downspout that you cut, you wanna save that because over the winter, you're gonna uh, disconnect your rain barrel. You're gonna empty it completely. Uh, if you leave water in it, it could crack when it freezes. So you need to flip your rain barrel upside down reconnect that downspout and uh, reroute it back into the planted area. Sure. This barrel looks pretty big. How quickly does it fill? It's gonna fill uh, in a good downpour. It could fill within a couple minutes. Wow. Yeah, so that's why the overflow is really important, routing that away from your foundation. Sure. This was a really simple project to help out the environment. Where can I learn about more things that I can do as a homeowner that are sustainable? Yeah, so if you go to our website, conservemc.org, you can learn about our Conservation at Home program, which is a list of sustainable ideas that are simple that anybody can implement in their backyard. Things like saving water or putting native plants in and supporting pollinators. You can even set up a site visit to have somebody come out and give you customized ideas. Um, so just visit our website and find out more. Cool, thanks. Okay, thanks for watching today. Hopefully uh, you got some ideas on how simple it can be to install a rain barrel and start saving water right in your own yard.